I should explain, well, we're going to be five rounds only, and then at the last moment, and this is not well planned, I don't know if it's showing, but it wasn't well planned. James May said, no, let's do a sixth round for fans of the shows that we've been involved in. Um, and this is what he's come up with, ladies and gentlemen. James May with round six. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, yes, now this is a special round. There are only three questions and you will know the answers to these if you are sad enough to have watched us three on television in all our projects or to have read our columns or books or all those things. And uh, uh, for each question, there are three possible points because you have a point for manufacturer, a point for model and the point for trim level or specification. So the first one is... On the steering wheel of which car did James, and that's me, vomit in 1995? So I vomited on the steering wheel of the car, so I want the make of the car, the model of the car, and for the third point, the trim level or specification. I know the answer to this. I'm not sure that I'd get the third point, James May, but I think I could get one and two. Don't just write down the name of a car maker. Let's have, we've got to have the, oh, wait, wait, wait. AW, you're getting very close there. Hey, yeah. your, feed, your feed is slightly ahead of mine because I haven't got to the answers yet. I know, because I live a mile from a former Prime Minister. My Wi-Fi is unbelievably fast. Um, Next question. OK, well, let's see. Yeah, keep working on that one. So, question two of our three-question round. Onto the passenger seat of which car did Richard Hammond vomit in 1999? So Richard Hammond in 1999 vomited onto the passenger seat. Not, not, he wasn't sitting in the passenger seat. I mean, the passenger seat became the receptacle of his vomit in 1999. Which car was it? Like the manufacturer, the model, and the spec or trim level? Please. James knows the answer because he was there. I, I witnessed it happen. Well, were you in the passenger seat? No, I wasn't in the passenger seat. Unfortunately, I was... Richard Hammond... You vomited on... Seat. I remember you vomiting when we did the rally in Mallorca and yeah. you had the, I forget the correct term, and I'm, if I say it, I'll get it wrong, the shorter gentleman yeah. um, with you. And yeah. you had to, in a Lanchester, and you had to pull over because you claimed you were unwell. Yes. Now, yes. we all know why you were unwell. Yes. I, I, I wasn't even done it the night before. And I was caught. I seem to remember while you were talking with Tiffany Dell, and I was behind you. And uh, I, 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 yes, we were live on stage. <laughs> I was behind. We all had in those days stick mics that you hold. Yeah. And I was behind Richard Hammond. Tiffany Dell was there. James wasn't there. For, I, I, I forget why. Um, anyhow, um, I watched Richard Hammond's shoulders hunch like this from behind. He then finished talking. Uh, sorry, Tiff was talking at the time. I went up to Hammond and off mic said to him, are you okay? And he went, yeah, I've just been sick. And I was like, oh my God. And he said, but don't worry, I swallowed it. Now, I Lovely. think, yeah. no, I think that is the definition of professionalism. Okay. He okay. could have vomited onto the stage, oh. but he knew that there was a, a Earl's Court, probably an audience of 30 or 40 people watching us. It would have been disrespectful of that audience. To, to exactly. Talk. And so he swallowed his own vomit. Um, so yeah. upside down Rimac is one of the suggestions for you, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> that, Rimac uh, that's... Concept one, Rimac concept one. He didn't, he wasn't, he, he didn't, well, I don't think you were sick in the Rimac. I mean, the footage sure. and the camera stopped working, but. God knows what else came out of me, but, but no vomit as far as I'm aware. And also, let's be honest, if he had been sick in that, he was upside down and the vomit would not have landed on the passenger seat. So that no, that's as far as I know, that car is still burning point. today, so there will be no trace of the vomit. It, it burned for a year, I think. Yeah. Anyway, let's have the third one. This okay, finally, is the final question of this. Final question of Into what did Jeremy generally hurl in 1997? Into what did Jeremy Clarkson hurl in 1997? Manufacturer, model, trim level or spec, three points available. That is the end of uh, round six. We'll give you a, a, a minute or so to think about that. Well, Darren Groom is there, but you've got to be more specific, Darren. You've got to be more specific than that. <coughs> some of these, somebody said, I wasn't even born. Yes, well, 
That's what the point is. is. He had <laughs> red <laughs> columns. You, in William Europe. the Conqueror invaded Britain. Where you go, I wasn't born then. Yes. You're supposed to know. Henry VIII beheaded. I wasn't born then. No, the last Paul the American War of Independence was fought in. I wasn't born yes. then. I wasn't you can't born just know history when, when you were born. Stage. Not that this is particularly important history, I'll be honest. James May vomiting, Richard Hammond vomiting, and me vomiting is not important history. Why don't we now reveal the answer? What did you vomit in? Okay, in 1995, I vomited all over the steering wheel. I had brought the car to a safe halt and it lay by at the time. I vomited all over the steering wheel of an Alfa Romeo 164 Super. Super is the critical word for that third point. Richard yes. Hammond. Super being the what single passenger passenger model, not the twin. What was the name, manufacturer, model, and spec level of the car in, onto which you vomited uh, in, in the past? It was 1999. I, at its launch, UK launch, in fact. I vomited with spectacular vigour, enthusiasm, and I like to think style in the waiting passenger seat. Uh, of a car that I had only just, I'd introduced it on camera, I must be said, pre-recorded camera, uh, to the world, um, and had just praised for the fact that its interior had been styled to resemble a baseball glove. But the way I said it was, as you can see, the interior has been styled to resemble baseball glove, and then I yacked into it. <laughs> it was the Audi TT Roadster. It was the ID. Richard Hammond, you know what happened two days later on that same car launch. Oh. I turned up filming for Top Gear then. Not old, yeah. This was old, old Top Gear. Yeah. And they were telling me about this young man who just started in the business. He vomited all over the passenger seat. I, that night, drank enthusiastically. Yeah. And the next day went out and vomited near the Audi TT Roadster, because I've never been so drunk in my entire life. There was something about that, the air there. Yeah. The question that James asked about me, onto what or into which did I hurl in 1997, I think it was the right date, I've never vomited into a car, but I have vomited explosively. Somebody's got it here, Matthew Nuttall Smith, a McDonnell Douglas F15, E. Correct. Correct answer. Well done, yes. Matthew Nuttall Smith there. Three points. The Mc McDonnell Douglas made it. It was the F 15 fighter uh, bomber, and it was the E model, or A, B, C, D, and I was flying the E. And then, and this is interesting, about two months later, another British journalist went for a flight in an F 15 and claimed afterwards to me that he hadn't been sick in it. But it had gone upside down and he'd flown it and he'd done loop the loop and barrel rolls, but hadn't been sick. And that British journalist's name is anybody want to hazard a guess? Alistair Cook. No, not Alistair Cook. Anybody on? Does anybody on here want to hazard a guess? And there was a row on television between me and him when he was going, I did not vomit. And I said, You cannot possibly have been in that plane and not vomited. Somebody's going, Andrew Neil, Piers Morgan, no, no, Piers Morgan, no, it wasn't Piers Morgan, it wasn't Jonathan Ross, he's not a journalist. Oh. I am asking the question. This was on television, a televised round between me and him. It's on YouTube, you can find it. And he was going, I wasn't sick, I wasn't sick, I went in an F-15, same pilot as me, upside down, same pilot. And the answer is, you'll have heard of him, Boris Johnson. Oh, was it really? Good luck. Nine toe rag. He said he wasn't sick in it. And I know he was sick in it. I know he was. 